So we're here with Tourist Omnia. Hello, who are you? Hello. Well, uh, we are uh, here on a Savit. Hello, guys. And we are here with our Tourist Omnia. This is a motherboard. This is what's inside the box you can buy. So this is an open source router right here. And uh, your company is uh, CZ. Uh, that's uh, Czech Republic, right? Uh, yeah, we are from Czech Republic. We are a uh, Czech domain registry. And uh, we started uh, tw like 20 years ago. And uh, ah, so I can buy a domain that's CZ. Yes. With yes. Your company. Uh, not from our company, but from the registrators. We are just a registry. And there are a lot of companies all over uh, Czech Republic that are selling the domain thanks to us. Uh, we are not a government, but we are a non-profit uh, agency or a non-profit uh, company. And so the latest stuff you're doing is, if you can hold it right here, this is an open source router. Are you, did you do the PCB design? Uh, yeah, we did PCB design, we did uh, uh, the manufacturing. We have a contractor for it. Uh, basically, we uh, bought uh, components all over the world. And uh, the PCB, the plain PCB, just the green part, is made in China. But uh, the product is made in Czech Republic. Uh, the box is made in Czech Republic. Like assembly? Assembly and the, uh, the box and everything is made in Czech Republic uh, uh, with uh, our contractor. And uh, right here it says Marvel Armada 385, yes. 1.6 gigahertz. Yeah, it's, it's RMB7 processor, it's very powerful. You can choose uh, two versions, one gigabyte version or two gigabyte version of uh, DDR3 RAM. Uh, we also have plenty of storage, eight gigabytes here, EMMC. Uh, RAMs are here and processor is under this big uh, heatsink. Heat you have a heatsink. The, re uh, the reason why there is a, this big metal block is that we have a metal case. And thanks to that, yeah. As you can touch it, it's the heat a little dissipates. Bit warm. So yeah, the heating is going out, and we don't need any passive, uh, any active cooling. We have passive cooling by the box. Yeah. Because if I turn around right here, let's look behind. Uh, so you have USB 3.0 over here. Yes. What one one on uh, one USB 3 here and one in the front. Uh, SFP. Uh, if you have fiber to your home, you can use SFP module. Plug it here, and uh, you can enjoy your uh, one gigabit uh, throughput in our uh, Does thanks that to exist our router. In Czech Republic, uh, in Czech Republic, yes, yeah, somewhere. Do you have and that in your home? No, not no, me. Any of your staff have this? Uh, yeah, one of our colleagues, uh, oh. one of our developers has it. So every time you need to download something, you go to his place. Uh, no, I don't know that work. Uh, at work, <laughs> we have, and I have a fast connection. Uh, at home too, but yeah. So uh, I'm guessing if it's open source and you say open source hardware, yeah, open, open software, hardware, open hardware, open hardware, open software, and uh, the, it's based on the open open WRT. It's based on open WRT, uh, but we uh, made a lot of improvements uh, to top of that. Uh, like uh, the reason, uh, as I uh, told you. Uh, the company is uh, 20, uh, 20 years old, uh, but uh, there is a part uh, in our company called Labs Laboratories, uh, where we are doing those uh, non uh, those open source projects. And one of the project is uh, Tourist. We uh, the project Tourist started four years ago uh, as a non-profit research project uh, in Czech Republic. We created uh, the previous uh, version, previous generation On a previous of the router. Trip? Previous CPU? Uh, previous CPU was PowerPC. PowerPC. Now it's over in an ARM CPU. Yeah, it's this ARM. Is the same, this is powerful Marvel that Synology, I think, is using in the uh, NAS, right? Yes. It has good performance, very fast. Yes. Right? And read uh, very fast networking. If you connect the hard drive, you want to connect on the network, it's yes. going to be fast. Yes. So four years ago, we started a non profit project. Uh, and a lot of people are asking, uh, where can I buy this awesome router? I want to be secure and. Uh, um, I want to have this uh, high performance router at home, and we were telling him, oh, it's not possible, it's just a non profit research project. And uh, the, uh, the things, uh, the two things we started uh, with a non profit project were, uh, were automatic updates and data collecting. Uh, like anonymized, uh, anonymized data collecting of, uh, about attacks. What's go about what's what? about ethics from the internet. Ethics. 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 Uh, ethics, like the bad guys on the internet. Ah, uh, what ah attacks. Attacks, okay. yeah. I thought ethics. Uh, 
and uh, so uh, we gave away 2,000 units uh, to users in Czech Republic and uh, we uh, didn't have a commercial version and because of a lot of people ask, uh, were asking about where can I buy this project uh, we went on Indiegogo last year and started a campaign uh, to get to know how many people really want this router at home. Uh, and we want we wanted uh, hundred thousand of uh, uh, dollar? of dollars, U.S. dollar, U.S. dollars, and we received one point two million dollars. So Whoa. that was a really good start and a big promise to how our many community. People? Um, ship to everybody? Uh, ship to everybody, to all over the world. Thousands? Uh, uh, rotors. How much was more each than, one? More than, uh, each one, it depends on the face of the campaign. Now it's around uh, $300 or euros. Yeah. Depends on the uh, part of the uh, Maybe they had for 109 a special price during the campaign or? No. Uh, yeah, we had a special price uh, during the campaign. Special prices and special perks. Not only uh, those special cars are from the campaign, now we are selling the black one. All right. So uh, this people can buy on your website for three hundred dollars, and uh, not, not only uh, not on our website, but there are links to retailers. And uh, so uh, we successfully uh, finished the campaign. And last year in November, uh, we uh, we started to be in retail, and we sold uh, in the campaign. We sold uh, more than. Uh, 4,000 units and uh, after on the open market uh, in retail we sold uh, more than uh, 1,000 units so uh, from the first batch we created uh, or the previous model uh, those are running and collecting that at 2,000 units uh, and uh, about Turisomnia about this uh, version of our router uh, this that's uh, 4,000, uh, more than 4,000 from the campaign and 1,000 uh, now. So around uh, 8,000 uh, people, or seven or uh, 8,000 people are collecting, uh, are having their uh, tourists first router or Omnia at home. And around uh, 6,000 of them are having, uh, are collecting their data, anonymized data about internet attacks. And thanks to that, we have a lot of knowledge about uh, botnets, about uh, Mirai. So with our router, you can stay secure. Uh, because we have uh, the reason why we created was not on uh, also those uh, why we created the first rotor and this, this rotor was a research project research project and those automatic results. updates yeah we have uh, a lot of results it's and important to have an automatic update is one of the reasons you, you do this right yes uh, because, uh, a lot of updates. because because uh, when you are asking uh, some people uh, what's your rotor at home uh, then they are, oh yeah, I bought some uh, box in an electronic store, connected it, and that's it. But that's a bad thing, because there is admin, 1234 is a password, everyone can modify your settings. So is the default password is 123456? Uh, no here, there is no default password. How do you get in? Uh, how do you get in? When you buy, uh, buy it and open the box, uh, there is a simple short wizard. You, you have to go through, you have to, uh, you have to uh, make your own password and make your own password to Wi-Fi. Without that, you are, uh, there is no access to the internet and uh, you, uh, you have to uh, think that uh, if you want or don't want to get automatic updates. Because uh, as we are open source, Everything after you buy this router, everything is yours. You can open it, you can modify it, you can refresh the firmware. Uh, everything is on you. Uh, do people so connect hard drives and they do BitTorrent? They do. Uh, they do you can do home cloud. Yes, home, you can do. DVR. What do they do? Uh, what is this little device you have there? Is this I will tell you uh, about. At first, I would like to tell you about the possibility to change something here. Uh, 
about uh, what's on the de uh, on the um, uh, on the board. There is a CPU, and uh, there is there are three gigabit lines in the CPU. One is going straight uh, to one port and SFP port, and those remaining two lines are going to this fully manageable switch chip to those to those five LAN ports gigabits. Okay, so if you need uh, to uh, to tell some device in your network that you don't uh, want uh, this device to access your inside network, uh, just the internet, it's possible uh, we are managing the VLAN uh, or something we are bridging. So that's a security as we, uh, as we know it, that you can modify everything. Uh, if you need uh, not one one port, but uh, two or three uplinks because you want to have load balancing or uh, failover, it's possible. About the failover, uh, let's uh, take a look here. Uh, there are three uh, mini PCI Express slots. Uh, two of them are uh, by default uh, filled with uh, wireless cards. What is that? Wireless card. Uh, this is a, for 5 gigahertz network and 2 gigahertz network. Is it possible to change to one card that does yes. both? Yes. Yeah. Uh, there is a one card. This card can do both. But uh, it, there is no card uh, that can do both in the same time, simultaneously. That's the reason why we have two cards here. But if you don't need uh, 2.4, just take it out. And What can this, you put instead? What you put instead, yeah. Uh, this uh, this slot is also MSATA, so you can take this out, place it here, or just take this out. And uh, if you are, if eight gigabytes of EMMC here is not enough, you can uh, plug the SSD drive there and have one terabyte. Or one hard drive, yeah. Yeah, a hard drive. Or uh, if uh, one SSD is not enough for you and you need more storage, just simply uh, buy. Uh, SATA uh, interface for Mini PCI Express and connect your regular hard drives. We even have a power connector here uh, to uh, power your hard drives. Uh, this white thing. Uh, you can take out uh, 3, 5 or 12 volts as you need uh, for uh, powering uh, anything inside Omnia. So you don't need any uh, Ad, uh, external power source for you your hard drive. G SIM card. There is a preparation for SIM card because uh, LTE modems, 4G modems, doesn't have uh, doesn't have a slot for SIM card on the card. So just plug a SIM card, plug a LTE modem. Uh, we already have prepared uh, holes for antennas, so just take these plastics out. Uh, uh, and connect to antennas for LTE and you will have a better signal uh, than with uh, classical LTE sticks. So it's one one, one port and one, one, port. Uh, one 4G and uh, also fiber. Is 4G it possible to merge all three in, in one? And yeah, you can you can have a load, a load balance, you can have it uh, as a failover. Depends on you what you want to have it uh, or how do you want to use it. It's uh, the configuration, uh, the reason why we why we made our own distribution, not only using uh, that OpenWRT as you know it, is that uh, OpenWRT is really hard to set up. It's a kind of geeky thing. Uh, so we have a special uh, our UI uh, for configuration yeah. called Forest, uh, and so those basic stuff like uh, Wi-Fi and uh, IP addresses and uh, DNS services and everything, uh, you, can, uh, you can set it up in a comf uh, comfortly, in a user-friendly uh, user -friendly interface. If you are uh, the guy or the girl uh, who wants to set up something advanced, you can use Lucy, that's a standard uh, user interface of OpenWRT. And if you want to play with this hardware, with this uh, software a lot, uh, you can use terminal, SSH, as you wish, or you can connect, there is a serial header, these four pins, and thanks to that, you can connect it via serial line and play with it in low level. Also, there is a JTEC connector for, for hardcore geeks, there is a JTEC connector 
or GPIO pins for connecting electronics. So it's like an Arduino? Yeah, Arduino, Raspberry Pi, whatever you want. And uh, you, it says here you can connect a DVB-T tuner. Yes. And you can do all kinds of extended uh, use cases right here. Uh, OK, DVB-T tuner. DVB tuner, put it uh, in a USB, uh, here or here, or as we have it on a box here or here. And uh, just set it up because a lot of people want to watch uh, uh, TV every in every room in their big house and uh, you don't want to buy five televisions. You already have your smartphone, you already have your uh, tablet or PC or Mac or what uh, Linux so based you computer. Stream to those. You can stream to those. Is to it encoding in real time or is it just streaming the... Uh, you can stream it in real time it's or you can record it. Re record it, or, but it's not re-encoding and transcoding in, on the fly. The chip, can it do that? Uh, to compress the to CPU small can do that. Oh yeah, it can. But uh, mainly it's just, uh, uh, it's just streaming what's, uh, uh, what's on the DVB-T tuner. Cool. So is your project one of the best ones out of the Czech Republic? Uh, I hope so. Yeah. yeah. So a, lot of, a lot of other cool things happening in the country. Oh, right? yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, about, I can show you. Uh, <laughs> Other hardware project. It's from our uh, friends' company called Big Plum. In the also in Czech Republic. Yes, they are also from Czech Republic. What is that? Uh, this is a small thing. It's kind of open source IoT things. Uh, this base, and there is also a little remote module here. You can see. Uh, a display. Uh, I don't know. If yeah, I can see, see it. it. Yeah. Uh, there are some data. Uh, there is there is a date, time, upload and download on the uh, connected router. And also there is switch node remote and so do so and node base. Base are data from humidity tag and lux meter here Whoa. and uh, thermometer and nice. the remote. Node base, nodes reboot. Those are data from this small, uh, small battery powered thing. You can place it anywhere cool. and get a lot of data there too. And, uh, and there is a strip. We are not downloading on this uh, on this oh. router right now, but there is a LED strip, and it signalizes uh, the speed of the download. That's cool. So, so uh, to get updates and all that stuff, it's open source, but are there a lot of engineers doing this in Czech Republic? Uh, like yeah. Very good at hacking the code? Uh, we we have a team of like uh, 20 engineers and we are uh, our team is uh, uh, making bigger and bigger uh, is getting bigger and bigger uh, so we are also hiring and we have a very active community so you can also contribute if you are a developer you can contribute to our project did the Asus analogy some other company look at your software and said oh that's cool and copy it and use it on another uh, not hardware? yet not yet so you the only router with your software right uh, you heard of somebody else uh, with this software we are the only one but anybody is welcome anybody is welcome uh, because uh, everything what we are doing in a, our company is at is open source. Not only our router, but also you can know Bird, uh, Bird Internet Routing Demon. It's uh, uh, very famous. Uh, so would you say this is the best router in the world? Uh, yeah. You sure? It's, it's very powerful. Yeah. Uh, basically. What could be better than this? What could be better than this? I think our next version in a few years. Uh, why does it take a few years? Can you speed it up and come in a few months? Uh, why do we need uh, a new version now? This is uh, already this is great right now, yeah. a, great, a great router. Yeah, but there's so many working, uh, working on a software because uh, thanks to updates, you are getting not only not only security fixes but also new features. But there's so many new ARM processors coming out. Yes. 64 bits, Iron V8, yes, uh, uh, big ones with lots of performance. Yeah. It could be like a server. Uh, this is uh, this could be a this server a too. Server, yeah. This uh, this could be your home media, uh, media server or uh, home cloud ne network at its storage. IoT yeah, cloud. about about the cloud, we we are talking uh, with Nextcloud uh, and we are planning something with them. So stay tuned. Uh, I hope uh, we will. Uh, we will be able to do the, uh, what we are talking about with Nextcloud. Uh, 
Uh, no. No, they don't call you and say, hey, look, do you want to need some help? No, they don't do that. Oh, not yet. Not yet. But we don't need Google. Can uh, you connect here a Zigbee or some other kind of IoT uh, and make this a home gateway? Yes. IoT. Yeah. Uh, you can. It's. Uh, there are some. Uh, there are those are. Uh, I already told you. I think. Yeah. Uh, pins uh, for GPIO, for Raspberry Pi, Arduino, so or whatever you want. Cool. All right. Uh, thanks a lot. So uh, check it out here at Omnia Tourist. That's CZ.